Some changes could be coming to H Street. Transportation leaders want to create 24 transfer 24 hour transit lines to improve bus operations. Some riders and business owners think it will only congest the area that's already clogged. Fox 5's Nana St. Yo Boinsu is in Northwest tonight with more on the project. Nana. Yes, yeah, Shireen and Angie, let me show you what DDOT is proposing right here. They want to turn these right lanes into permanent 24-hour transit lanes. So you see where that bus is right there? They want it to be for buses and street cars only for 24 hours on both sides. This will begin from Benning Road to North Capitol Street, basically 3rd Street to 14th Street. On your screen is a map of the area in DDOT's road improvement plans. DDOT says creating a 24-hour transit lane will help traffic run smoother here for metro buses and the streetcars and create better access to buses for riders. In 2019, we are told that almost 14,000 riders use the X2 and the X9 metro buses and the streetcars throughout this corridor. DDOT says they've heard clearly from local residents and business that these are the type of improvements that are desired for the 8th Street for H Street in Northeast. But some businesses we spoke with here say this will hurt them. People who live in nearby areas have mixed feelings. Take a listen. That is already a really congested stretch of area during traffic hours. So to take, in a, to take away a commuter lane, I think, is going to only create more congestion uh, in traffic, particularly during rush hour. Uh, and as a consumer, you know, if I need to run into a business, parking there is difficult and it's going to take a lot more time to do short errands. I think that it's going to cause some congestion. I think it's going to take people some time to get used to that uh, new lane being closed down. I'm sure that they are going to be concerns about parking on 8th Street, specifically for people coming to do businesses uh, and things of that nature. But I see the promise in promoting more public transit options for folks and hopefully to get more people on the bus uh, so that way they can traverse the city uh, using public transit. Now, obviously, we're hearing from riders and people in the area who aren't really feeling this proposal. Well, DDOT tells us they are open to tweaking it. Right now, they're actually collecting feedback from the public, and they want to hear from you. So you can actually do that on their website, and we have that link on our website. Now, once they're able to finalize the proposal, they're going to go ahead and confirm the design, which should be done somewhere in 2023, and they're going to start construction here in 2024. Back to you guys.